each medium has its own working parameters which are based on its limitations and advantages. Cinema being the youngest form of art in the history of human civilization has absorbed elements from the other art forms like painting, photography, theater, literature, music and so on and internalized these elements to evolve a new language and form of its own. Today in this presentation I attempt to make a comparative study of cinema and theater. Cinema and theater both are narrative art forms and both of them find their fulfillment in the art of storytelling. In this slide the left clip shows the veteran versatile actor late Sri Chobi Vishash from Shotujit Rai's Jalshaghar 1958. The still picture at the left down is Ray's Pothir Pachali 1955. The still picture at the right top displays a collection of props and masks used in theatre. And the still picture at the down is a theatre performance. The famous film theoretician Andre Baza had stated in his essay, Film Narrative and Other Arts, Theatre and Cinema, which we find in What is Cinema? That, according to Jean-Paul Sartre, the drama proceeds from the actor in theatre and in cinema, it goes from decor to man. Baza had added to that, that this reversal of the dramatic flow is of decisive importance and it is bound up with the very essence of mise-en-scene. Mise-en-scene is a French term meaning putting into the scene and which has its originality in theatre. Cinema has adopted it from theatre and has adapted and elaborated its elements which broadly are set and location, lighting conditions and shadows, facial expressions and bodily gestures that is acting, costume and makeup. The reception and spectatorial experience of a film is ought to be different from a theatre. Film is a realistic representation of the reality where the illusion is more complete. For example, when we watch the Lumiere Brothers Sprinkler Sprinkled made in 1895, the first ever comedy, we see the little incident actually taking place in a real garden with real grass, real hose and real water along with the actors. But in theatre, sans the presence of the actors, it is not possible to recreate the reality on stage. The use of artificial props will symbolize the location and the narrative and that will in eventually invoke laughter. Though this film, which is part of primitive mode of representation, is frontal foregrounded and has a fixed perspective due to fixed camera and also gives the flavor of a theatrical presentation. But still, it is perceived as cinema due to its real location and real effect. Cinema is pre-recorded and shown on screen, but theater is live and presented on a fixed space called stage. Theater is metaphorical and actors are of prime importance. But cinema is metonymical, that is a part of the whole or slice of life. Theater is performance dependent. The actors along with mise-en-scene heighten the drama in its metaphors. In this slide, we may see the steals of some theatrical performances. 
the limited fixed space of the stage the fixed distance between the stage and the audience the absence of different visual perspectives or close shots or extreme long shots or point of views are the limitations within which theater works survives successfully and has developed its own exclusive storytelling pattern though films have the advantages but the dialogues in theater can have a greater effect and its impact can have more than the visuals in many aspects for example the phrase from shakespeare's hamlet to be or not to be is very difficult to achieve successfully visually cinema can convey messages and create different moods through its short divisions juxtapositions and editing for example when we watch the odessa step sequence of sergei eisenstein's battleship potemkin made in 1929 the mounting tension is created through the rhythmic montage technique where the shots of the marching soldiers are juxtaposed with the proletariats coming down the stairs in contrast editing the different aspects of editing like dissolve cut in cut away or parallel cut and other devices of cinema are absent in theater in the next slide here we see some shots of close ups and extreme long shots on the left we may see the close shots from alfred hitchcock's american psychological thriller psycho 1960 they heighten the drama the stills at the left are from john ford's american western stagecoach 1939 these extreme long shots try to highlight the overwhelming presence of nature cinema is a more intimate medium it can get into the drama with close shots different camera angles dramatic positions point of views and so on the crane shot of extreme high angle in riti ghatak's suvarna rekha 1965 emphasizes the diminished nature of the character ishwar and the jolt the spectator receives from the drama in this slide the top still is from ghatak's suvarna rekha it is a high angle shot of the alpona and the space where the marriage is supposed to take place the high angle dwarfs the space and thus hints at the doomed marriage of sita because sita elopes from the marriage the still at the left is from ghatak's meghi dhaka tara 1960 it's a low angle shot of nita and shankar's smiling faces it enhances the happy mood and uplifts their stature the still at the right is a eye level close shot of nita in meghi dhaka tara where she completely breaks down and the expressions are captured skillfully it is followed by the historical panoramic view of the surrounding mountain with a 360 degree pan in telephoto lens views of camera movements and camera lens are absent in theater in this slide we may see the different types of point of view shots where the spectator directly share the perspective of another character through the strategic placement of the camera but theater is uni perspective fixed and works in a definite space in this slide we see two still pictures of the space called stage the live actions can be perceived and enjoyed only from from one perspective in theater the makeup props dialogue delivery voice modulations are are larger than life this is to reach to the audience in the last row early cinema is frontal foregrounded and fixed which are direct derivatives of the proscenium theater 
In this slide, we may see the stills from Lumiere Brothers film, which is called the primitive mode of representation of early cinema. The top still photograph is the work workers coming out of the factory. The left one is from a still from the train entering the station and so on. The next slide shows still pictures from George Melier films which are similar to theater and magic shows. In this slide of early Indian cinema, the exhibitionist mode is highlighted. We see two still photographs. The left one is from Dev Dash 1931. It shows Pramodesh Chandra Borua and Jomuna Borua. The right one is from Raja Horish Chandra made by Tadasai Falke in 1913. Indian cinema was also highly influenced by Bengali folk theater that is Jatra and Marathi theater. Now these slides show stills of vaudeville theater. There are two slides and burlesque comedy. Cinema has followed them and which we may see glimpses in films of Sir Charles Spencer Chaplin. This slide show the stills of Chaplin films. In this next slide, we see the stills from the colorful Broadway musicals, which are also borrowed in films of musical genre or Bollywood cinema. Many of William Shakespeare's plays have been adapted to filmic medium like Akira Kurosawa's Throne of Blood, made in 1957, a Japanese samurai film is adapted from Macbeth. home we have Vishal Bharadwaj's Hadar released in 2014 is adapted from Hamlet and is given an Indian contemporary background layered with the crimes taking place in Kashmir. There are many experimentations which goes on in both theatre and cinema and both are intelligently adopting and adapting from each other to enhance their own art to make it more creatively satisfying, aesthetic and energized. And these, both these art forms, they ultimately make statements and harp on the artistic sensibilities of the art connoisseurs. With the note of hope and positivity, I end my presentation here. Thank you.